I still can't believe you went. What are you thinking? Going to that place. Wish you hadn't got yourself into this mess, but you did. And you can't run forever. I know you were just trying to do right by me, so I need you to do what's right by us now, please, Kaz. I am so tired of fighting. I just want it to be over. I want you home. The girls want you home, but... If you don't deal with this, then we are done for good. I love you. But I won't wait forever. Suze. Oh, Jesus, Suze. Girls need you a Christmas card. <laughs> Merry f***ing Christmas. Kaz, Roy's finishing up breakfast if you want something. Uh, I'll, I'll be there in a minute, Trots. Aye, well, don't wait too long or someone will be off with you. Aye, yeah, all right. Sorry, girls. Aye, quite right, Trots. Davy must have gone back on shore last night. All right, Kaz. I'm all right. What are you doing up there? Pipes leaking. If it's not one thing, it's the other. See this whole rig? It's a pile of shit. It's falling apart. And we've only just started drilling. F a doll. And f Rennick cutting corners. Aye. Speaking of, you are in the sh man. Rennick got a letter this morning from the mainland and he's been up to high dough ever since. Heard he's gunning for you. Well, that's just brilliant. Christ, I need a smoke. Can't find my lighter anywhere. Take mine. I don't need it anymore, honestly. You're a fucking lifesaver. I'm going to get breakfast. All right. I'll see you for darts tonight. And we'll put a wee picture of Rennick up on the board for you. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. See ya. Look, there's no escaping. There's going to be a dozen mayor rigs up here by the end of next year because the pricks in Westminster want their grubby wee hands on Scotland's oh, oil. Christ, no this again. The bear is already down to the bare bones. And Cadal are just going to make more cuts to get other rigs on the go. If we don't take industrial action soon, oh, this place... Oh, come on. 
If we don't take industrial action soon, this place will be even more of a death trap than it already is. He's got a point though, Gibble. We're down to a skeleton crew in the pontoons and it's ropey as fuck down there. Workers of the world unite! What do you think, Kaz? <sighs> I don't know. Just here it affects the lecky. <laughs> What do you think will be keeping the lights on if this place falls apart? That's coal, you numpty. <laughs> How you doing, boys? No bad, Kaz. Raf's here's a bit shaky, though. Gonna be the lad's first solo dive this morning. All right. Ah, you'll be all right, pal. Especially with the big man here looking out for you. Have you done it before? Christ, no. I'll stick to the lecky, thanks. No great in tight spaces, and it's blowing a gale out there. Really filling the lad with confidence there, Kaz. Ah, sorry, wee man. Don't worry about it. Brody's got you. Enjoying your last day, McCleary. What's that supposed to mean? You've been a naughty boy, from what I've heard. Ah, give peace. You're not exactly an angel yourself, I dare. I'll be fine. Well, you'll not be missed. You wouldn't know a day's graft if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> I'd like to see you try and do my job. You wouldn't know a spark plug from a fucking hairdryer. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth, McCleary. You all right, Roy? Cars, my old mucker. I do. McClary! To my office. That means no. Not as soon as you're ready. No. Ah, the sweet sound of Davy Rennick. You think it's the Paulus? Can't be surprised, Kaz. Have you heard from Suze? She's talking about divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaz. She'll come around. No, if I get the jail, she won't. Well, maybe you could have considered that while you were battering Billy Chamberlain's head in. Slagged off, Susie. Had it coming. And there he is. Floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee, and swears like the devil himself. Listen, mate, even if it is the polis, maybe it's best to just go back and face it, yeah? Ach, I don't know, Roy. I'm fucking scun up with the whole thing. The Lord loves you, mate, no matter what. And I'm pretty sure Suze does too. That's all clear for you now, Roy. Lovely job, thanks, Dobby. Oh, Trot says he's left your insulin in your cabin. Oh, bless his little communist socks. Muchly appreciated. Ta. Remember, life is like football. It's not over. Until the final whistle. Aye. But you're a Barnsley fan, so you're pretty much fucked from the off, right? Oh, I will see you hang for that, McCleary. Off you trot, lad, before his nibs blows a gasket. Home sweet home. up and see what the score is. Am I all right to get by, pal? It's all right. You have to go around, Kaz. Take it mine off next time. I'm the measure in it. Not exactly small. 
Ho ho I, you're a smart one. Lay it on the deck, eh? Nice and easy. Don't bash it! Lennox just itching to give someone a kick it! Need a hand there, fellas? McCleary? No. I can scalp in this hero by myself. <laughs> no, we're all right. Cheers, though. Fair enough. You want to transfer here, McCleary? You'd give me less lip. No. He loves it. McCleary? My office. I don't make me ask again. In a better mood today, is he? You'll be all right, Kaz. You get used to it. We all get a turn. Try not to punch him. <laughs> no promises. Give me a minute to check. It is fair again. I can see from here. Drill crew will love that. <laughs> Renick will love it even more. You're telling them. I told them last time. This one's all yours. <laughs> all right, Roper, what's the problem? Don't usually see you down here. Ah, drills acting up this morning. Got the crew running around like blue ass flies, but they kinda make head or tail of it. Is that you's behind schedule then? Oh, no, not yet. And uh, not if the gods are smiling on us. So mere f than ever. Poor as fucked as you by the sounds of it. Look, you better get up there. The boss man sounds raging. Well, how long will that take? Orders in, but might be two, three weeks before it's shipped, like. I can patch it, but we'll need to keep an eye. Maybe say a prayer and all. <laughs> Seems like we'll keep doing those. Mate, a cargo hoist will crush you if you get close. McLean it! Jesus, Scooby! <laughs> Give me a heart attack. Oh, sorry, mate. Can I ask a wee favour? What do you need, Scoob? Oh, could you do me a quick fix on the crew lift fuse box while you're down there? I need bother. Oh, you're a lifesaver, mate. And don't let the big man get you down, all right? Thanks, pal. Well, here we fucking go. Enter! Ah, Mr. McClary. So glad you could join me and sorry to have got you out of bed. Shut the door and have a seat. Oh, I'm fine, Stan. Sit your ass in that chair, you fucking liability. But I don't... I run a tight ship. Do you understand me? A tight ship. Technically, it's no shit. Shut your gub, you Ned Pick! I am sick, sick to fucking bunker of you wee gobshites messing with my operation. 
That chef might be a mate of yours, but he does not run things around here. I do. Do you understand me? All right, why don't you just get on with it? Don't you answer me back! You might be the height of sh** on shore, McClary, but out here, I am the f***ing king. Do you understand me? You bring the polis to my door, to my rig. Uh, I, I can sort this, right? I just need time. Shut it, you clatty gobshite. I've got here's a man who can make a more positive contribution to this operation than you. Look, I know Shut it! I'm in a meeting. What? For fuck's sake, Gibbo, I don't care. We're on a schedule. It's a fucking drill. You've got a fucking drill, so drill through it. Yeah, well, Roper's a whiny old fud. He's got a problem with everything. I don't care if it feels half. Just fucking do it! Or I'll come down there myself! Is that uh, trouble with the missus? You're fired. You hear me? Fired. Come on, man. It's only a wee bit of trouble with the polish. I'm good with the lecky. I keep things running. You said it yourself. Out! Get off my rig! Aye. A happy new year to you too, ya. Well, no more running for you, guys. Jesus, Gregor! Gregor! Christ, but you're a right pair. Two bars and a ball bag. Now listen, Pat. I promise I'll take care of him. I had a word with our Kieran, you remember him? He knows Billy Chamberlain from way back. Owes me a favour. Reckons he can sweeten Billy up a bit. Come on. Have I ever let you down? Roy, right, you lost the cake at the wedding. N now then, now then. That, that wasn't my fault. You left it on a bench at Argyle Street. Aye, you were that bloated you didn't even remember baking the c Oh, my children, that was before the light of the Lord came to me. Here we f go. Uh, and you, Mr. McCleary, you can fuss and cuss all you like. But perhaps if you went to the Saracens a little less and the Tabernacle a little more, then perhaps you'd not be in this pickle, eh? Don't, don't look at me. You're the one who decided to spend the next four months trapped on our egg with this bampot. Susan, I promise you, I promise you, we will get this straightened out. I will. You'd better. Guys! Christ! He's got gold! Guys! Get his leg! We can't leave him out here! Move! Guys! I think he's dead! We got you, man, alright? We got you! He's breathing, thank Christ! Guys! Wake up, guys. Why is he not waking up? Can you hear me? Is he going to die, Brody? <laughs> Kaz?
you're right being up on your feet. Uh, my heat's killing me, but... Christ. Aye, aye, I think so. You got me out. Did you get Gregor? I got you, aye. I couldn't find Gregor. F I'm sorry, Cass. Oh, Jesus. He's not the only one we lost. No, no, no. Raf's is still in there. Why aren't these working? Kaz, I need you to help me. Kaz! What? Right, aye, what, what do you need? The cable's stuck. Go down and release the main brake, then come back up and raise the bell. If you can get it to my level, I think I can get him out. Aye. Raf's, it's all right, we're getting you out. We'll be two minutes, pal. Right. That's it! Come back and winch up the bell now! What's going on, Brody? What happened? Don't know. The drill hit something. An air pocket or gas explosion, nobody knows. But whatever it was, it was big. You were lucky, trust me. Douglas is trying to find out Mayor. Like if the bear is even safe now. What's wrong with rafts? I don't know, all right. Decompression shouldn't be this bad. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have let him go down there. I said I'd look after him. I'm here, rafts. It's pro day. I'm gonna get you out. Uh, is there anything Mayor I can do? No. I'll get him. We need to know what's going on up top. You'll need to go through engineering. The way up is blocked from here. Where's engineering for here? I've never been doing this end before. The only way you'll get there is to go under the rig. Should be a clearer path down there. All right. I'll head down now. Things locked.
hier geht. Finally, something useful. Jesus. Psst, McLeary. Gaz, over here. Jesus, Finley. You all right? Who are you, you seen a ghost? Who's making that noise? Gibble. He's making that racket. But should we no find him, help him? No. I not recommend that. What does that mean? It means he's not alright. After that explosion, he got oil or some shite on him and just... I don't know. He freaked out. Went for me. He's still out there. You mean out here? As in out here with me? Aye. That's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's just f***ing brilliant. You seen anyone else? I just got here. Where are you going anyway? Back to accommodation. Listen. You'll have to get through the water tanks to get up to accommodation. And quiet like. Gotta go all the way up there. 
Jesus. And what about Gibble? Stay the f away from me. You're listening to me. It's no right, cuz. I'm no arguing. Cuz. Careful, eh? Aye. You know. Jesus.
Jesus. God, stop. Shake. Stop thinking about it. Just stop thinking about it. Jesus. Jesus. Right. Right. Is anyone here? Hello? If there's anybody here, say something. McCleary here? Cass, it's O'Connor. I've got Bruce and Fergus with me. You know what's going on? No, but we hit something. You need to get out of there. Don't need to tell me twice. Listen, something's wrong in engineering. It's not safe. We'll go through the leg and come up through the under rig. Rennick, better give the evacuation. O'Connor, you have to go through accommodation, it's all blocked. Do you hear me? O'Connor!
Trot. Trot. Is that Trot? Trot, is that you? Can't hear you, man. Open the door. Trot, the door's blocked. I can't get to you. What's up, wee man? Are you hurt? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Trot! Trot! Hello? Bloody hell, fire! Get in, quick. Thank God you're all right. Jesus, what are you doing in here? What do you think you're doing in here? What the bloody hell is going on? I don't know. People are dying, Roy. Dead? Who? who who's, who's dead? How? Uh, Douglas. Trots, I think. I don't know, it's, it's this thing. I, I think it's doing something to people. I don't know what to believe, you know what I mean? I do, I really do. I saw something on the deck. I, I didn't stay to look, it just scared the shit out of me. I should barricade the door. We can't hide, Roy. We have to get off this rig right the f now. What, without Rennick say so? Roy, did you hear Rennick? What, you think we're getting evacuated? He'd want everybody back at work if we were at the bottom of the North Sea. Right. The lifeboats, then? Aye. You stay. Barricade the door. Let me clear a path, and once we're ready to go, I'll come and get you, right? I'll be here, don't worry. Getting some extra prayers in. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need them. God, Sam. You, you won't leave me. Aye, it's bloody terrifying out there. I'm not leaving you, pal. I wouldn't blame you if you did, mate. I mean, you've got all the food in here for a start. <laughs> Listen, get your man upstairs on the case, and I'll see you soon, right? Anybody in here? A general synopsis of 06 hours. Depression North Atlantic, from east and deep. Here's the ship markers for the next 24 hours. Viking Southwest, bearing westerly, Gale 8 to Storm 10. I can't get this one open. No chance. Rain and wintry showers. Poor 
or very poor. Forties, comedy, poor. Christ, how am I going to get done there? Joking me. Oh, thank Christ. Here it is. <sighs> nah, that's no way. Okay, right. Looks easy enough. Way out of here. One more. One more. <coughs> right. Now the lever. Get it into position. Nearly out of this. Just broken. Perfect. No. <laughs> things locked. Who's that? Renick. It's me, Kaz. McClary, what the f are you doing to my life force? It's gone. It's just fell off into the f sea. You must have done it wrong. F off, Rennick. You built this f thing, not me. Who's with you? Uh, Roy's in the canteen. Finley and Brody are alive. Listen to me, McClary. Get your ass up to the chopper pad. Bring anyone else you can find to. And whatever you do, don't touch this stuff all over the bearer. I can't, I can't get back out. There's a safety door. The railings are all gone. For God's sake, do I have to tell you how to do everything? Give the door a tidy kick at the bottom. It'll open right enough. What about you? Just concentrate on getting to the pad. Don't worry about me. You see, Rennick? What? Well, does this mean we're okay, like? No hard feelings? Get to f McClary, and when you get back, f off again. I'd be happy to see you drown, but I'm not having your death on my f record. 
Go on your cell, you old f Bastard. It's Kaz, Ennis. What's going on? Jesus, I, I need help. I, I don't know what to do. Just... What was that? Christ, something's happening to me. Oh, no. Ennis, what Ennis! Stuff is taken over. Christ. Don't fall. Don't fall. Is that... Trots? Jesus Christ.
All right. Roy! He's blocked the door. The freezer vent. Aye. Cut. You all right? Jesus, you look terrible. Do not go down those f***ing stairs. What the hell is going on? Uh, trots. I, I think it was trots. No, it's just f***ing horrible, whatever it is. Just stay in here and keep quiet. Did you get to the lifeboats? Yeah. I knows if they ever work, but they definitely don't f***ing work now. I had a wee chat with Rennick about it while I was out there. How did that go? Badly. The cunt still reckons we should get to the bird. You think? You got a better idea? Cos, mate, I'm not going to make it over the deck. I'm not feeling so good, pal. I think I need my insulin. What? You're f***ing kidding, Roy. Now? Oh, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, Mr. Bloody Fit and Healthy. I'll tell you what, I'll have a little chat with my pancreas, shall I, and tell it to pull its socks off. Mate, all right, for f***'s sake. Could you not just eat some f***ing jam or something? Oh, bloody hell, the man's a medical genius. I'll get on the blower to Dr. F Spock and tell him not to panic. We've solved diabetes here. It's f***ing McCoy. No Spock. He was the point of year. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can manage to get to your cabin? You've summoned there, aye? Hey? I'll get to the helipad. Make sure that doesn't he try leaving without you. All right. I'm not useless. I can get there. Listen, uh, when, when you get to the chopper, tell Archie to radio in the support ship. We, 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 we need all the help we can get, Kaz. All right, big man, all right. Just be careful, OK? My girls need their godfather in one piece. The sound of that, whatever it is. I have to get across to the bird. By Christ, I can barely see the lift to get there with this fog. Fuck! Ah. Oh, Sunil. What the f happened here? No! 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 Help me! Jesus! Toby! Christ Almighty! Jesus, Ennis. What are you doing up there? That thing will see you. That thing? It's Muir, cuz. It's Muir. Muir. Jesus. I... Christ! I don't understand, Kaz. Listen, we have to get to the helipad, all right? I tried talking to him, but he came for me. Like, 
He didn't care me at all. It's no him anymore, Ennis. Does that mean you do believe? Save who we can. Aye, uh, aye, uh, you're right. But the only way up is the crew lift. He won't let anyone leave. Then we need to get past him. Uh, all right. I'll see you there. But eh, didn't he be a hero if he hears me, all right? Well, then don't let him hear you. See you at the lift. Please! Why can you even hurt me? Can you get out? No. Muir was coming at me. I just froze. I didn't care how I got myself in here, but the cargo hoist came down and we're right crabs in a creel now. Are, are those the hoist controls behind the fence? Maybe I can shift it. All right. You're a good lad, Cass.
same. Better check. Nothing. Shoot! You shot them! They're gone! Get a move on! Archie! Rennick! We have to give them more time! You told them to come! What I told them is that we are leaving! And we are leaving! Now! Come back! Hey! <laughs> 